Hug, bear beat Conga. Me give prize to bear. <laughs> you kicked my butt. Here's a trophy. <laughs>
How still her looks and ugly she'll be! Is that your brother? <laughs> really, Bottles? <laughs> Where, Mr. Mole? I can't see him! Up there in the sky! That big ugly green thing! I don't think so! <laughs> Who is that? I'm your worst nightmare, lady! Come to me, my little pretty! You'll soon be ugly! What a pity! You know, when I was buying this house, if I saw that, bi <laughs> that big ugly face up there, like, mm, maybe let's look in a different location. <laughs> Don't scratch and bite, my little bear. You'll soon need bigger underwear. <laughs> oh no, she's got her. Somebody help! And you'll wake up! Oh, what do you want, Kazooie? Let's get outside, there's trouble! <laughs> Oh, this game. It, this game has so much charm, too. Alright, here I am! It's Banjo! And I can only do a little hop at the moment, but I'm about to get all the, the moves here. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Listen up, I'm Bottles, the short-sighted mole. I'm Banjo, and this here's my buddy, Kazooie. Sure is a strange-looking buddy, Banjo. Can it talk? Better than you can, Doggo Boy! What was all that noise about? Where's my sister? Tootie! The ugly witch grunted Tilda swooped down out of the sky and grabbed her! <laughs> Calm down, Geeky! We'll get her back! Where did she go? She flew up to her mountain lair! It's really dangerous! So you'll probably need some training before you go up there! Press A if you want me to teach you some basic moves, or press B if you think you're already good enough. <laughs> I'm having a little too much fun with the voices. <laughs> Alright, I think I'm good enough. I'm, I, yeah, I'm gonna press B. Oh, I waited too long, so now he's gonna tell me again. Hold on. B. Alright, there we go. You bet we're good enough, Bottle Brain! Oh, very well, I'll give you your basic moves. <laughs> like how he has to give me the moves. Here's the moves! Now I can do them all. So nice. Alright, so. I'm gonna see. I don't think I can. Oh, I can go up here. <laughs> Get the extra life. On top of the roof. And actually, let's go back in the house, because it's a fun little deal in here. It's just cute. So you can go in the house. Uh, there's a picture. There's the beach. We'll be visiting that beach at the end of the game. I cannot wait. Okay. Uh, there's this picture of bottles. I don't think you can do it right now, but there's this whole thing at, where when you look at the picture, it like starts... Oh, we're like inverted camera here. Okay, it starts this game, so yeah. And uh, like a puzzle piece game where you like do this puzzle. And it just helps you get like cheat codes, which I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna worry about that. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Do, 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 all right, so basically this is so this is Spiral Mountain, right? This is where you live, and you're supposed to what you're supposed to do is if you don't know the game, you're supposed to like go around to each of these little locations, and you learn the moves, right? So you learn what you have to do to get to collect all these pieces. And so once you've once you've learned what to do, you can you can then <laughs> go in the castle. Uh, I'm not gonna worry about. This knowing all the moves, but I am going to get all these honeycomb pieces, because we're going to want these for, um, for life. You get six honeycomb pieces, you get a, another honeycomb slot in your health bar there. So you gotta, and you, you gotta utilize all your moves to get them all. You get another extra life. I'll take it! I don't think I'll be needing it, but... So, I, I plan to play, I'm going to play this whole game, uh, I'm going to get everything, uh, there is there is no other way for me, <laughs> i got to get everything, uh, let's see, I think there's one in here, and I think it's under the, the bridge here, so i got to swim, there we go, there it is, 
Um, and then, and then, you know, I haven't thought, I, I've thought about it, but I haven't made a decision if I'm going to play Banjo-Tooie after this. <laughs> uh, Banjo-Tooie, I, I liked Banjo-Tooie when it came out, and I played it, and I've probably played it a couple of times. In fact, I'm going to say I've probably played it twice. It's not my favorite. And I don't know what it is about it. It's got a lot of good stuff in it. Uh, and maybe I just need to revisit it. Maybe it's been it's been too long since I've played it. Take that, you big cauliflower thing. <laughs> um, yeah, so there we go. Uh, it's been a while since I've played it. But the thing I remember mostly about it is that it's hard. Uh, it's much harder than this game. This game, it has its difficult moments. But this game's fairly simple. Uh, and one of the... Like, one of the best examples of what I'm talking about is, you'll see here, we have to collect all this stuff. Well, in this game, you rarely, there's only like one instance I can think of where you have to go back to an, uh, an old level to get, after you've learned more moves, to get, you know, to get through it. Oh, here, no, I want a cutscene. So, you're ready to tackle the witch now. We sure are. Show us the way, bottle boy. Cross the bridge to enter Gruntilda's lair. Look out for me inside. Good luck. Here we go, into Grunty's lair. So you have to collect these things. There's only one instance where you have to like go back to another level. In Banjo-Tooie, it's you have to like go everywhere. <laughs> like this I have the game memorized. I know where everything is. I don't have to look up anything. Banjo-Tooie, I would probably have to look some stuff up because I'd have to remember. Oh, how do you get this one? I don't remember how you get this jiggy or how do you do this, so. I'll think about it. But this contraption, I'm told, will make me young and truly old. Let me go, you fat hag. My brother will come and kick your butt. Rescue you. He will not dare. There's many dangers in my lair. Hurry, Congo. Push that switch. I'm tired of being an ugly witch. Yes, Mistress Crunchy. Power is on so early. Badger, help! <laughs> So, I probably won't do it in this playthrough. I don't know, maybe if I think about it for fun. There he is, the fun begins. My tricks and traps, we'll see who wins. All right, first thing I gotta do is go up here and get this Jiggy. Hey, it's me, Mr. Jiggy. Now, go and find a picture with a piece missing. Uh, so if you, if you get it, I think, excuse me. If you get a game over, it's either if you get a game over or if you save and quit. I think maybe both. Uh, it goes to a cutscene where the machine actually works and 2D turns all ugly. And it's actually pretty amusing. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll do it at some point. But <laughs> now, To enter the world shown on the picture, you must fill in the missing spaces with the jigsaw pieces. We've got the first jigsaw piece, Goggle Boy! Great! To fill in the missing spaces on a picture, press A. If you don't want to use any jigsaw pieces, press B to leave. There we go! Alright! That's it! The picture is complete! And the door to Mumbo's Mountain is open! That was such an easy fit! The others may just test your wit! Here we go! Mumbo's Mountain! I'm excited! Mumbles Mountain, I know almost like I know where everything's at. Like I, I won't even have to think about it. This is this is the 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 first world. It's super easy to get everything. First thing I'm gonna do, we get this Jinjo up here. Yippee! You saved me. Gruntilda is imprisoned. Five of us, Jinjos on each world, free us all to get a Jiggy. Oh, there's a Mumbo token. Yeah, so, okay, I'm not going to read everything, but I got to get, so I can't go up there really because I got to get these moves. So each each world has some moves. Uh, up until about the last couple of worlds, there aren't any, but you got to get uh, all the moves. I'm just going to get, I'm just going to go in order here. Well, not really in order. It's funny because I, <laughs> I in preparation for this, and I, I won't even say in preparation, just in sort of... I, I just wanted to do it, uh, was 
Uh, I've been watching a lot of speedrunning videos of Banjo Kazooie, which is which is really interesting, uh, the way it's run and the, sort of the order things go in. And, and these are speedruns where they collect everything. It's not just like, which I'm not doing. I'm not speedrunning. I'm just <laughs> just gonna do the thing. He's coming for me. It's the bow. Go away. Leave my honey comes alone. All right, let's do this. Got it. Cardus Congus tree, he hit better with oranges. The funny thing, too, is. Clever bear fight Congus Gold! How dare you! I'm gonna search for ten of us on each world! We'll help you progress through the witch's lane! So, the funny thing is, as soon as they announced Banjo for Smash, right? Uh. People who were watching videos sort of about Banjo being in Smash, that kind of thing. Um, really? Ooh, my bad. <laughs> I gotta get this orange off this tree for him. For the little monkey over here. He wants an orange. There you go, buddy. Ooh, Chippy like Conker's orange. Chippy help fat bear bird. So I'm skipping a lot of, like, dialogue. Like, I should go talk to the monkey first, right? And he's like, hey, give me an orange! But, like, I know he needs an orange, so I just went and got it. <laughs> but, like, it, so you watch a lot of, like, stuff about Banjo being on Smash. Then, then, all there is is, like, uh, videos about Banjo. Just, like, coming up in the recommended. <laughs> so, a bunch of, uh, ah, the ancient ways of the egg. I'm listening, beetle breath. Hold Z, then press the top Z button to shoot an egg out of your mouth. Hey, sounds cool. Anything else? Sure. Press the bottom Z button instead, and you can shoot them out from behind. Sheesh, sounds painful. I wish I'd never asked. Bird Brain can carry a hundred eggs in her backpack. Oh, and you can also use the control stick to aim while you are crouching. Exciting, huh? Oh, go, 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 go. Now that you've learned how to cha 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 cha. <laughs> Here's 50 to practice with. Hmm, your energy's a little low. I'll fill it up for you. Oh, well, thanks, because I got hit by that. <laughs> I got hit by that orange earlier. Alright, I gotta shoot this monkey. Ha! Gotcha! Oh, no! I didn't mean to jump off of there. Oh. Oh, there we go. Okay. Back up here. Gotta hit him one more time, I think. Oh! Like, I... That, like, the controls are a little wonky, just because it's, like, sort of that... N64 sort of, like, joystick. Like, I'm just getting him, like, right where I want him. But you should see these these speedrunners. It's nuts. Ugh, bear beat Conga. Me give prize to bear. <laughs> you kicked my butt! Here's a trophy. <laughs> All right, I'll take it. Why, thank you. Okay, next thing, first thing I want to do, before I do that, I should have done this first. I am, all right, camera, turn around, turn around. Thank you. All right, first thing I want to do is I want to go up here because I need to get a very important move uh, that'll really speed things along as well as help me uh, with these slopes so I can collect everything. First let's go ahead and get this right here. Oh yeah, alright let's go talk to bottles over here. The Talon Trot will let Kazooie tackle Steve Slopes with ease. Well, that sounds useful. How does it should do it? Hold Z, then press the left Z button. Continue to hold Z while moving Kazooie around with the control stick. Go practice! <laughs> Go practice! Alright, so this is the Talent Trot. The Talent Trot's very useful because it really helps you, first of all, move a lot faster in the game. I mean, if you watch any of the speedrunners, that's how they go. I mean, they just use this basically the whole time. <laughs> Um, to run around. So it'll help speed everything up. I'm not going to use it the whole time, 
Because honestly, I don't need to go that fast. <laughs> it's helpful. I mean, sometimes I might want to be like, all right, let's get it. Let's get going. But Banjo can, he can walk fast enough, honestly. Um, I'm going to use it here, though, so I don't slide down the hill. Um, the other thing, though, uh, that can get... That, the other, like, my one complaint about this game <laughs> is the musical notes. So, I like the idea of collecting 100 musical notes per, uh, per level. And they're actually not very hard to find, right? But if you die, and before you've collected all 100, that's, your note score goes down, right? So you have a, what's called a note score. And you have to, it doesn't go down, excuse me, you have to start over. Uh... You have to collect all 100 of them again. And I think the Jinjos, too, if you don't collect all the Jinjos. But that's not, that's not as difficult. Um, I don't foresee me dying uh, in any of the levels. There's only one level that I have a feeling I'll probably die in. <laughs> it's gonna happen. Alright, so let's go. also been collecting... Ooh, oh, let's go in this little door here. Because I think there's something I want to get in here. Yeah. Hey, ugly! Yeah, hey, hey, dead. <laughs> okay, there is a mumbo token I need in here. There we go. Okay, I got one more move I need to get uh, before I can really get everything in here. Alright. I call this the Beak Buster. Jump into the air, then press Z, send Kazooie slamming hard down to the floor. Gulp. I don't like the sound of that. Banjo. Get used to it, nest girl. You'll be using it a lot. Whoa, Banjo, there's nothing more I can teach you on this world. The student has become the master. Okay. So here's the Beak Buster. Kaboom. Kazooie, more like it. Uh, <laughs> so hopefully I don't have to recollect every single freaking note in any of these levels. That's I'm going to just pray and hope that I don't have to get the egg, will you? <laughs> I don't have to do that. Uh, but I, I'm not going to use the Tower Trot all the time, uh, for the most part. Hey, all the Jinjos! For the most part, because it's annoying, right? It's like, she makes this... First of all, she makes this noise every time. And then whenever you jump... I mean, you watch a speed run, it's like, all, that's all you hear the whole time. Oh my god, camera angles. All you hear all the time is like... And you're like, okay, alright. Here we go. I'm collecting jiggies like a fool! <laughs> I'm a jiggy collecting fool. Okay, there's one up in his eyeball up here. This is this first world, they're really not very spread out. They're sort of just... This this first world's not really that large. Uh, so they're kind of really spread out. Alright, let's do this part. There's one. What? Oh, we juju. Mumbo's totem pole. Feed us with nice blue stones. Okay, I have to not screw this up. Okay, before I feed him, I gotta get this. I'm not actually sure how you would get that if you accidentally fed that one, because they disappear now. I think maybe you'd have to leave and come back, possibly? I don't know. Maybe you could fly from... You could jump, take a leap from Mumbo's house there? I don't know. Okay. Um, I need to... I think I need to go this direction. And get these notes over here. Yes. I do. So every world has... Oh, here's a Jiggy. Every world has ten Jiggies, a uh, hundred notes, um, five Jinjos, but that's one of the Jiggies, so you kind of just count it that way. Um, oops. Come back. Hold on, I gotta start from the top. Make sure I'm not missing any. There we go. And then two uh, extra honeycomb pieces. So I've got one of the honeycomb pieces. I need to get the other one. I know exactly where it's at. Uh, I'm gonna save it for the very end. 
Uh, and then it also has one witch switch. Which I gotta go do the witch switch. The witch switch is back over here by the monkey, but I didn't have the slam butt, the slam move uh, while I was over here earlier, but I do now, so I'm gonna go back over here now. There we go. Um, so I, I don't know. I might play Banjo Tooie. I'll definitely have to have some sort of player's guide. Which actually, I do have the physical uh, player's guide. Which is pretty exciting. Oh man, this is... I'm so excited to be playing this. This is... I'm having a good time. It's been a while. Okay, here's the witch switch. Slam on that ugly face. So what the witch switch does is it reveals a... Um, a jiggy somewhere out in Grunty's lair, and there's ten of them out in Grunty's lair. We already got the first one, which was just sitting on that, sitting on that. Oops, no, nope, nope, the stairs. Sitting on that little pile of uh, <laughs> of stones there at the beginning. Uh, but there's not, so there's nine more. So I'll have to get all of those. Okay, this is one of the funnest parts of the game. Uh, let me check. I think I have five Mumbo tokens. I should be good to go. This is one of the best parts of the game. It's Mumbo! Here he is. Uh, he's gonna talk to me here. Ah, uh, me, me, Mumbo, best shaman in all game, can help Banjo and Filthy Feather one. Watch it, hot boy! Mumbo's magic tokens hid by which find tokens and Mumbo help you. Ah, Banjo has plenty tokens. Stand on skull and press B to see mighty mumble magic. All right. I think I'm. Hold on. He's always got something you can collect up here. Oh, it's just eggs. Well, let's get him. Wait, I got plenty. There we go. All right. He's got his mighty mumble magic. He's going to transform me into something. Ah, yes, the mighty termite. <laughs> Mumbo's magic, free to change back. You come when ready. Termite, bit small, but not bad for first spell. Mumbo practice. So, Mumbo's in, he's not in every level, but he's in most of them. And he'll, he'll give you a little, a cool transformation that you can do. So I'm this termite. I can't do anything other than walk and jump. However, I do have a special skill. Which is I can walk on very, very steep uh, platforms here. Steeper than usual. Um, like these, like if I was trying to use in the talent trot, I would fall off of this. Uh, so it's too steep. So you gotta do it this way. Oh, I screwed it up. Hey, where'd you get those shorts? I want them. Oh, creepy thing to say. Hey, give me your shorts. <laughs> Where'd you get those pet? Oh, don't touch me. Yay, I got all 100. You got all 100 notes on this world. Well done. Come back here. I want your underwear. <laughs> Give me that cool backpack or else. Bunch of bullies. All right. So I'm climbing up Termite Hill here. And then... Yeah, oh, here's an extra life. Forgot about that. Yay! There we go! All ten jiggies. And guys, that's Mumbo's Mountain. We are... No, see, there is fall damage in this game. That's the one thing. There is fall damage in this game. But not as you're... Like, if you're any of these uh, these these characters, the little transformations, it does, you don't have fall damage, which is kind of nice. Okay. The other one is right here, which I can get to normally. I... I find it easier to get to it as the termite because you can walk on this surface. I normally I would slip off and I'd fall in the water and then I'd have to climb all the way back up the, the hill and get try it again. So, all right, we've already beaten the first level. It's amazing! Woohoo! So we are gonna we're gonna exit the stage since we've got everything. I'm just gonna double check. I'm pretty sure I got everything. <laughs> I just don't want to leave because I don't want it to come back. Yeah, ten, ten, there we go. Got everything. Perfect. So, here we go. Boom, baby. Alright, hold on. What did my... Grunty's magic stops you taking the notes off the world, but the hundred you just collected 
counts as your best note score. Holy cow. That was a fast termite. Try to get 100 on each world as they are needed to open the note doors. Oh my god. So much information. Okay. Here we go. Woohoo! Yippity doo da. <laughs> and then these bad guys come out of the doors. So now there's a bad guy roaming around the lair. Ouch. Hey! Where'd you get those shorts? Uh, you want my pants too? You weirdo. Alright. Mumbo magic get weak. Animal turn back or magic go. Magic all gone. Must go back to bear and bird. Now. Alright, so I'm back with the bear. When you open a world door, Betty's escape and roam once more. <laughs> Alrighty, so, guys, hey, you know what? That is a perfect place to stop. We've beaten the first world already in the first episode. It's perfect. So, join me next time. We're going to go to Treasure Trove Cove. It's beachy and and warm and sunny and, and dangerous. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, guys, thanks for watching. I've been Taylor. Uh, don't, if you liked this video, give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe. And, yeah, join me next week on Wednesdays. This is going to be the new thing on Wednesdays. I'm going to be playing this game. So, I'm very excited to start this. And I'll see you next time. All right, goodbye. Whee!